Hi, so this particular playlist is all about answers to tough questions and the whole idea is that I'm going to post the question. Um, if you pause the video, have a go at the solution and then the answer will be given in the final part of the video. I hope it's useful to you and please do add a comment, like, subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next videos. Hi, so this is the second video on the playlist that deals with functional maths questions. So they're basically questions based on real life situations. In this particular situation, we've got a, a garden. It's quite a large garden. It's 17 metres by 9.5 metres. And this garden split up into three areas. The first area is a patio, which is a, like a concrete patio. The second uh, area is the grass, which is this area here. And then it's also got two ponds in it as well, which have diameters of 3.8 meters. Now, if you go and follow the link in the description, you'll be able to go to this particular question and have a go at it for yourself. And then hopefully, as you work through the video, it should agree with what you're working out. Okay, so uh, the question really deals with bags of fertilizer. Each bag of fertilizer covers 25 meters squared of grass, how many are required? So we need to really work out the area of grass in this particular garden. Well, let's look, let's look firstly at the overall size of the garden. Now, I'm gonna to have to refer to my notes here because there's quite a lot of calculation, but the overall area of the gardens, the total area is going to be 17 times 9.5. So that's 17 metres times 9.5 metres, and that's going to equal 161.5 metres. So that's the overall area of the garden. That's this multiplied by this. The next little bit is the area of the patio. Okay, so the patio itself is a width of 2.8, and it has a depth of 9.5. So the total area of the patio is going to be 26.6 metres squared. Okay. The final thing is we have to work out the area of the ponds themselves. Because what we're doing then is we've got the area of the separate little bits. And by taking away from the overall area, it's going to give us the area of grass that we've actually got. So the area of the ponds, now you've got to be a little bit careful of this. Because the ponds themselves, if I look at just one of them... Um, the formula for working out the area of a circle is pi r squared. Well, r is the radius, but they've given us the diameter there of 3.8. So you've got to be very careful. It's got a bit of a favourite trick with uh, these sorts of questions. So you actually need the radius, which is pi times. Now, the radius is half of this. So 38 divided by 2 is going to be 90, so it's 1.9 squared. If you pop that into a calculator, you're going to get 11.34. And there's a few more decimal places that go with that as well, but this will give you some idea, and you might want to just calculate it to a little better degree of accuracy than I would. Okay, so uh, what we've got now is uh, the area overall, the patio area, one of the ponds, so we need to multiply that by two, and that's going to give us then the area overall of all of the ponds, which is 22.68 meters squared. Okay, so the area then of the grass, which is all this area around here, okay, and on the actual uh, question, you'll see that it's shaded in. But the area of the grass is going to be the total area, which is 161.5, minus the patio, which is 26.6, minus the area of the ponds, which is 22.68. And if you pop that all into a calculator, you should get the area of the grass now is going to be 112.22 meters squared. Okay, and then it's really just a case of plugging that information into this because each bag of fertilizer will cover 25 meters squared of grass. Well, we've got 112.22. So therefore, how many lots of 25 are there in that? So the fertilizer, 
okay, is going to be equal to 112.22. I'm going to write it as a fraction divided by 25. If you pop that into a calculator, you're going to come out with um, 4.48. Okay, well, you can't buy 48.48 or half a bag of fertilizer, so it's going to be five bags that are required in total. Okay, so I hope that's okay for you. The skills that you need with this is you need to remember that we've got to break this down into working out the area of the grass. I appreciate my drawings not so great, but if you download the, uh, the uh, original, then it'll be a little bit better to see. Um, you need to remember that the pond area is pi r squared. So it's these circular areas here. They've given you a diameter, so you've got to break that down, make sure you get the actual radius itself. And and then remember that there's two of them so it's going to be double okay take that away and then you've got this division at the end because each bag of fertilizer covers 25 meters squared divide that into the total area of glass grass that you've got and that should give you then five bags in total okay i hope that's okay for you please do add a comment below it is functional math so it's a little bit trickier there's a lot of skills required in this uh, there's uh, a few more examples in the playlist. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.